Hello, uh, I am Andrew Myers. This is a show that I wrote and directed called Teen Angst. I have noticed some fallacies in the nature of the average high school teenager, which I thought I'd put into a production. So I hope that you enjoy it. Please silence your cell phones. The fire exits are all around you. I hope you enjoy the show. Classroom 344, shouldn't be that hard to find. My life is really hard. Like, I don't think you understand. I have problems. I mean, for starters, I'm 17 years old and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my life. Also, my parents expect me to do stuff, like chores and stuff. I mean, so yeah, I'm sure you understand. And on top of that, I have mono. I mean, well, the doctor said that I don't technically, but I can tell. I'm tired all the time, and I'm positive it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm on the internet till three in the morning, so I only get two hours of sleep. Also, I've been kissing tons of guys. It's mono. And you know what the worst part is? I'm like the only one with problems like this. I wish Math Quest was more specific. <laughs> What's the point in life? We all die, and eventually, all of our accomplishments are forgotten. Our loved ones all die, and we have to work to survive. Work hard, and what do we get for it? Nothing, except for life. That's it. And I don't want to end up some lawyer, or farmer, or doctor, something, then die with no trace. It's not what I'm into. So I'm going to express myself as an individual. I've been listening to this band lately, probably haven't heard of it. I also drink water out of mason jars. And do you know why? Because I'm an individual! <laughs> but, you know what the worst part is? I'm the only one with problems like this. play frisbee, so I get a lot of girls. A, a lot. I mean, look at me. I don't think there's a single girl I couldn't get. I'm practically a god around here, understandably. I mean, look at me, again. But that's just the problem. I keep dating all these hot chicks, like Katie over there, who have no substance. And for once, I just like a girl who I can connect with. Is that too much to ask? Or maybe just someone who's not all that, you know? And you know what the worst part is? I'm the only one with no pro with problems like this. Am I in the wrong school? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so singing is my whole life. I love everything about music. I've seen Pitch Perfect 12 times, and also every episode of Glee at least twice. The walls in my room are covered in pictures of One Direction that I cut out of magazines and grocery stores. I didn't buy the magazines, I just kind of took the pictures. <laughs> Is that bad? Oh well. But whenever I sing, people tell me to shut up. Isn't that mean? I've been working on this all singing thing practically my whole life. Well, more like three weeks, but you get the picture. It's just horrible to be ridiculed for your one true passion in the world. And do you know what the worst part is? I'm the only one with problems like this. I comb my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 
so bad. All I want is to fit in with the others. However, I'm an outcast! <laughs> I have been isolated from the tribe, separated from the pack, voted off the island! <laughs> and why? Because I comb my hair. <laughs> That's all! Hell, Jasper calls his! His. Oh. Never mind. Oh. I find it simply ridiculous that such a minor character flaw can be worthy of such ridicule. I am absolutely certain there's nothing to do with the fact that I wear a tie to school every day and act incredibly flamboyant. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that's like? Any of you? <laughs> of course not. And do you know why? I'm the only one with problems like this. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Hey, where's the sub? Who cares? Teacher's gone, the party is on! <laughs> Who has a keg? Billy, Jasper, a keg? You think somebody brought a keg to school? It wouldn't be the first time. Wow, Jasper, you sure know a lot about kegs. <laughs> he didn't say anything about kegs besides that he wants one and somebody brought one one time. He's still dreamy. Whatever, I want the sub to show, like now. I worked really hard on my presentation, and I'd like to get it over with. I feel the same way. I spent so much time. OK, yeah, well, that's great and all, but I mean, I definitely worked harder. So if you could just stop, that would be pretty great. Thanks. Wow, you're pretty when you're being unaccepting. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, retro photography? Ew! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Fancy, huh? you excited for the presentation? <sighs> Firstly, my name is Ronnie. Secondly, yes, I have something rather exquisite prepared. What is it? <laughs> my dear, it would not be nearly as awe-inspiring if you knew. <laughs> I'm coming. Huh? I'm coming! I'm coming! You're late! I'm coming! I'm coming! Are you looking at my stuff? No! I'm coming! Good morning, class. Mr. Mouse is out sick today, so I'll be filling in. My name is Mr. Towers. And as you know, the semester project, Who Are You, is due today. And I expect all of you have something prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's yes. go with that. Great. Yes. <laughs> Katie, care to start us off? Sure. Oh, and also, Mr. Towers, I can't talk all that loud because I have mono. Um, oh. yeah, I think you should be at school for that sake. Oh, okay, well, it's not that bad. Well, then go ahead. This is what I am. Confused. We're like all in high school, as in not adults, as in we can't vote, drink, smoke, or like even get our own prescriptions. Yet we're supposed to know what we want to do with our lives? I mean, I have no interest besides blogging. Well, and chocolate. But seriously, we need to have a plan. What happens when we get to college and then all of a sudden we realize that what we actually wanted to do isn't what we thought we wanted to do? What then, huh? Switch majors. <sighs> you can't just switch majors, Evan. That's not how it works. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it works. <laughs> People do it all the time. Mr. Towers! Evan, stop interrupting. But Katie, Evan is right. I mean, switching majors is an option. You aren't stuck with what you pick right now. 
There should be more sure of your choice in the first place. There's some career placement tests that I could give you for some direction. Ew. Tests? No thanks. I don't really want to go through all of that work to fix the problem that's causing me all this angst. It seems really difficult. I mean, anyway, I also live in a total sweatshop. What? Are you enslaved? Ugh, relax, Mr. T. I just mean that my parents work me really hard. I have, like, so many chores. Like what? Like, I unload the dishwasher. And? That's it. <laughs> you just unload the dishwasher? It's a really big dishwasher, okay? There's, like, two whole racks. Um, I'm pretty sure that all dishwashers have two racks. Well, it's really hard, okay? Um, I'm also a cheerleader and, like, super popular. Oh, and how is that? Well, most people don't know this, but being popular is a lot of really hard work. People just assume that being liked by everyone is easy, but it's so rough. You have to be nice to everyone and stuff. Okay, well, you're not liked by everybody. As a matter of fact, most people hate you. Also, I've never seen you be nice to anybody before. Except for Jasper, and you're a little too friendly then. Hey, <gasps> that's enough, let's cool it. Thank you, Katie. Who's next? Evan. I think that I would describe myself as an individual. <laughs> well, aren't you gonna ask about my water jar? What, your cup? <laughs> No, plebe. It's called a mason jar. Probably haven't heard of it, but people drink water out of it. I've definitely heard of them. Everyone uses them to drink water. You're lying. <laughs> I still don't get the fad. Personally, I don't find it a very practical water vessel. Don't you agree? Well, they have started selling them with lids and straws so that they spill less. But if you drop it, the lid isn't going to do you much good. Wait, it's a fad now? Yeah, like half the school uses them. God, then I'll have to find something new because I have to be special and stand out in what I drink my water out of in order, in order to ensure my individuality. Well, let's move on then. The universe is huge, we're practically meaningless. We're not meaningless, Evan. Well, yeah, but like, the universe is so complex, we could all have people living in like, our thumb. For all we know. <laughs> Except we know that's not true. Shut up, Ronnie! <laughs> Shut up! Jeez! I am your god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, t-shirt from my favorite band. It has a pretty exclusive following. Rock on, man! I love current hipster band. Oh, me too, right? You listen to CHB? Ooh. Wait, you all know current hipster band too? Yep. There's two of yeah. them? Yeah. <laughs> man, I gotta get some new vinyls. Come on, Internet Explorer. I love the flip phone. I have one too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh. Jasper, why don't you come up here and move things along? Uh. What is wrong with you? Let's just get right down to it. I'm lonely. I'm surrounded by all this success. But I can't find anyone who I can connect with. And I'm done with dating floozies. And I am done with cheerleaders. Hey! Relax, Katie. It's not directed to all cheerleaders, just you. <laughs> Whatever, you ass! Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm willing to take a chance with whoever's willing to take a chance with me. It's whomever. I've been living a lie? Hey, Jasper, do you want to maybe, <laughs> um... No. Uh-uh. Jasper, I think you might want to spend some time with someone outside of your current dating pool. Well, yeah, but Sadie's hella gross. <laughs> Whom 
ever I date still has to be super hot. That's just non-negotiable. Jasper, that's incredibly rude. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Towers. Jasper's just playing hard to get. <laughs> um, okay. Jasper? Oh, yeah, that's it. What? Yeah, this is really more of a PSA than anything. It's actually more of a grade than anything. Oh, yeah. I don't really care about grades. I kind of just get stuff handed to me, so. <laughs> That's surprising, actually. Sadie, care to bring us out of the gutter? With pleasure. I thought I'd do something just a little different for you all today. I'm going to sing a song that I wrote for who I am. Because singing is my life. <clears throat> this is me, this is who I am. I bet that I'm a sub. Oh, my cochlea. You're what? <laughs> cochlea, it's part of the inner ear, probably haven't heard of. It's cochlea. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. <laughs> Whatever. It was assaulted when she released the hellfire she called a voice. Evan! Wait, you don't like it? <coughs> it makes me want to shove a pencil in my neck. You're just a stone cold bitch, aren't you? It's really hard to be me, Jasper, okay? Did you not listen to my presentation? Yeah, I did. And whom ever uh, agrees with you is totally crazy. Well, I agree with her. You do? No. But you're attracted, so I'm going to lie so that I can get with you. <laughs> well, I think you're super unattractive, but dating you will upset my father, so let's do it. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, super fantastic. That's enough, you two. Now, Sadie, tell us what kind of training you've had. Oh, none. But singing is your life, I thought. It is. I watch Glee and a lot of Pitch Perfect. You haven't taken a choir class or anything? Well, I tried, but we did this super boring song by, like, Eric Barnum or something. No one would tell me what band he was in, so I quit. Well, it takes time and hard work to achieve your goals. I did put in time and hard work. It took me like 20 minutes to write and practice that song. And now I'm being told all of a sudden that I'm terrible? Do you have any idea what it's like to be told that your lifelong dream is never going to happen? No one said that, Sadie. It's just that you could improve if you took a class or two. Well, singing is fun. You're not supposed to have to work at it. Who works at music? <laughs> uh, it's whom? Jasper, for the love of humanity, just, just stop talking. Oh, thank you, Sadie. Have a seat. Ronnie, finish us out? Of course, Mr. Towers. Yeah, let's go, Mr. Fancy! <laughs> Woo! Yes! What? Mr. Fancy? Yes! In fact, this fits into my presentation. I know who I am. I am an outsider! Every day, I am told that I am different. That I do not fit in. That I am not like everyone else. But do you know what I want most? To fit in. To not be different. To be like everyone else! Besides proper grooming, I have done absolutely nothing to stand out! Nothing at all! Hey, Ronnie? <laughs> yes, sir? Not to be rude or devalue your presentation, but I don't think your classmates are trying to be malicious. They're referring to your mannerisms, like how you move. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, you're kind of dramatic and flamboyant.
<laughs> this is who I am. I have tried to fit in with a group of people I have nothing in common with. I'm not actually trying to fit in. I'm just broken up over the fact that I don't already fit in. I'm sorry, it just seemed that oh, you were... It's all right, Mr. Towers. Oh, come now. Don't look so down. You don't want to be naked, do you? Pardon me? <laughs> because you're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> hey, ho, oh, man, hey, top of time. You both got your style, but brother, you're never fully dressed without a smile. So, Senator, so, Janitor, you'll on for a while. Remember, you're never fully dressed without a smile. All of us have learned something new about each other, and some of us have learned something about ourselves through the what? Whatever. Wow. It's really quite amazing. I've never met anyone with the same problems that those kids have. They're completely, utterly alone in the problems that they face. Every day they struggle with illness, being unoriginal, overworked, not having love, and having lifelong dreams crushed, they won't ever get over these momentous issues. In five days a week, I come into a classroom like this, and I deal with kids like that for seven hours a day, listening to them complain about their apple pie lives. That is, if I'm lucky enough to get called into the classroom in the first place. Then I have to find the room. Also, if I don't, I sit at home and worry about paying my rent, gas, electricity, water, heating, student loans. I sit and worry about my future, my impact on the world, knowing that no one cares about me or what I do. I'm just that teacher that subbed that one time. No one is wondering how I'm doing or what I need help with. And you know what the worst part is? No one cares. 